okay hi friends integration part 9 long questions so third one was what is the third question evaluate integration of cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 ds so down okay so this is very most important than first and second questions so actually we have four problems same type this is also the like in the previous question same process so first the numerator can be written like uh, cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 this is the numerator it is written as uh, how can we write a into d by dx of cos x plus sin x plus 1 denominator plus b into cos x plus sin x plus 1 and plus c also we have to write so this is the additional in the previous first and second problem there was no c but here constant terms are there so that's why we must write c so this is uh, treat as equation 1 so now simplify this a into derivation of cos x what minus sin x derivation of sin x what cos x and the derivation of 1 what 0 and plus b into same as it is cos x plus sin x plus 1 plus c so now simplify a into minus sin x becomes minus a sin x a into cos x becomes plus a cos x a into 0 0 so no need to write and this is b into cos x is b cos x plus b into sin x is b into sin x plus b into 1 is b and plus c okay so this is the way of simplifying now what we have to do first cos x is there cos x coefficients what are here here cos x coefficient a here cos x coefficient b so take cos in both these two terms we get a plus b into cos x similarly sin x terms here minus a sin x here b sin x take sin x common so we get minus a plus b sin x and b plus c means b plus c so what is the left hand term cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 now equating like terms equating like terms so equating like terms so what is cos x coefficient a plus b here cos x coefficient nothing means 1 so a plus b is equal to 1 equation number 2 next here sin x coefficient is minus a plus b here sin x coefficient is 3 so minus a plus b is equal to 3 so this is treated as equation 3 and uh, constant term here b plus c here constant term 7 so b plus c equal to 7 this is equation 4 so we got three equations by solving these three equations we can get a b c values after getting a b c values substitute in equation 1 okay so what i am going to do solve second and third just simply add these two equations plus a minus a gets cancelled we get b back correct right? so i am going to do equation 2 plus 3 so what is equation 2 a plus b is equal to 1 equation 3 Minus a plus b is equal to three. So adding plus c minus c cancel. B plus b becomes two b, and one plus three becomes four. Here two goes here, two goes here. So b value we are getting as two. B is what two. So now how can we get a value? Substitute this b value in equation two or in equation three. Okay, then we get b value. So substitute b equal to two in equation three. Or equation two also you can substitute. So what is equation two? A plus b. B means what? Two is equal to one. So then a equal to two cent fraction becomes one minus two becomes minus one. So a value we got it as minus one. Next two again substitute this b value two. In equation four, because we need to find the event C also. So C is 
in equation 4. So substitute b by to here. So we get your b plus means 2 plus c is equal to 7. Then c equal to center x as 7 minus 2 becomes what? 5. So we got a value, b value, c value. Now, now substitute a equal to minus 1, b is equal to c equal to 5 in equation 1. So then one equation becomes equation 1 becomes cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7 is equal a into d by dx. A means here minus 1. So minus 1 into d by dx of same thing. Cos x plus sin x plus 1 and plus b. b means what? b value is 2. So 2 into cos x plus sin x plus 1 and plus c. c means what? 5. Okay. So now take the question. Now therefore integration of cos x plus 3 sin x plus 7. Same type of problem like first and second. Okay. So just to after okay let us see. No words. Just use that. Cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx is is equal integration of so here numerator is going to be changed instead of this what we can write this one can be written so denominator what denominator is same so denominator can be written same cos x plus sin x plus 1 as this but numerator minus 1 into d by dx of cos x plus sin x plus 1 plus 2 into cos x plus sin x plus 1 plus 5 into dx. Now split the terms. So here in the numerator there are 1, 2, 3 terms are there. So for those 3 numerator terms, split the denominator. Give the denominator. So this is equal first to minus 1 into so and so. Minus 1 is constant of the writing outside. So minus 1 into d by dx of cos x plus sin x plus 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx. And then after plus is there, right? And 2 is there, 2 is the constant of right outside. So 2 into cos x plus sin x plus 1 by denominator of cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx plus 5 is constant right outside if you write outside there is nothing means 1 is there so we can write uh, 1 by or you can write uh, 5 by also but I am keeping 5 outside and 1 by cos x plus sin x on that sin x plus 1 dx so now here numerator denominator same gets cancelled so we get only 1 dx and here is the function, the function of this one, derivation is in numerator. So if you treat this is f of x, this will be d by dx of f of x. Means what? This is f of x, this becomes f dash of x. What is the integration of f dash of x by f of x? Log of f of x. So I am going to use this formula, what is integration of f dash of x by f of x dx formula. So that is log of the power of x plus c. C means constant, not here c is different. So from here you can write minus 1 into log of cos x plus sin x plus 1. So log of denominator and plus 2. So here integration 1, integration 1 means x only. Okay, integration 1 dx means x only and uh, plus c 5 into integration of 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 is so this one we have to simplify again for this there is another one so how to solve this type of uh, 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 so first two let us i am writing simply i i means what 
integration of 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1. So, treat with this is equation. How many equations completed? 2, 3, 4. So, it becomes equation 5. Why I am writing it as equation 5? Because of so here, the i means what? Integration of 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 means. Because of why I am writing means. So, actually, I have to simplify this one. Only. So, this one completely simplified. So, again, now to simplify for each and every of this step, this one should be written. So, instead of reduce steps, simply I am taking this is out. Okay? So, up here, okay? First, take the numerator, split r into a by d by a into d by d by of denominator plus b into denominator plus c. And simplify, we get uh, solve ABC values we can get. So, substitute ABC values in equation 1 and you take the question. So, 3 numerator terms are there. So, split the denominator to each and every numerator term. So, after each and every numerator term, denominator is given. We got uh, first one is log of denominator, second one is only 2x, third one is taken as i, 5 into i. So, what is i? So that I am going to simplify from here on first. So did you write this? So how to find the i value? Okay. So here we have to remember one substitution method. That is, what is that? Where i equal to what? Integration of 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1 dx. So, in these types, means if integration of something by denominator in terms of cos x or in terms of sin x or in terms of sin and cos, for these three categories, we have to assume that tan x by 2 is equal to t. Any way the question consists denominator terms either in terms of cos or in terms of sin or in terms of both cos and sin. Okay. We have to assume tan x by t equal to t. So then immediately what is the derivation of this tan theta? Tan x secant square x. So derivation of tan x by 2 becomes secant square x by 2. And x by 2 derivation is 1 by 2. This is equal to p derivation is dt by dx. So, if you dx bring left side, then dx is equal to 1 by 2 center right side, 2 into dt, secant square center right side by secant square x by 2. So, secant square theta means again 1 plus tan square. Because of the second identity, first identity. Sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Second identity, secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. From that, secant square theta equal to 1 plus tan square. So, secant square means we can write here 1 plus tan square theta. So, tan square x by 2. So, dx is equal to 2 by 1 plus tan square. 1 plus tan x by 2 we assume as uh, t. So, t square into d. So, this is what dx means 2 by 1 plus tan square theta. And uh, what is sin 2 theta formula? In terms of uh, tan, 2 tan theta by 1, 1 plus tan square. 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square. So, sin x becomes what? 2 tan x by 2 by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So, if you convert in terms of t, we get 2t by 1 plus t square. So, sin x means what? Here, 2t by 1 plus t square. Okay. If you remember, if you learn these concepts in this one question, these uh, are helpful in the next fourth question and next 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Obviously, almost all 6, 10 questions, 6 to 8 questions. These are helpful. Not only here, in two marks also, uh, this is helpful concept. 
So first, the denominator consists of cos, cos sin, or both. So immediately take tan x by equal to t. So then after derivation, we get to dx is equal to dt by one plus one. This is the main point. And uh, sin x we can write in terms of t as two t by one plus two because of sin t theta. Sin theta nothing but two tan theta by one plus tan square theta. Similarly, what is cos formula? One minus t square by one plus t square. Because of cos theta means one minus tan square x by two by one plus tan square x by two. Okay. So which is equal? We get cos x is equal one minus t square by one plus t square. So this is cos x. Okay. So we got sin x. What is cos x? What is tan x by two? What is t x? All this dx means instead of dx we can write this one. Instead of cos x, cos x one minus t square by one plus t square substitute. Instead of sin x, substitute two t by sorry two t by one plus t square. So now therefore i becomes what integration of one by cos x. Cos x means one minus t square by one plus t square and plus sin x. Sin x means two t by one plus t square plus one plus one into dx into dx dx means what two by one plus three square dt. So we should simplify this one by. So here here one plus t square is the LCM by one plus t square. Okay. So numerator one minus t square plus two t plus one into one plus t square so becomes one plus t square into two by one plus t square d. So here one plus t square one plus t square gets cancelled. Okay. This one this one gets cancelled. Minus t square plus t square cancelled. So remaining. One plus one two, two t. Just we are getting one by uh, two t plus two only. Two t plus two only. Okay. So just write down. Yes. So next I equal integration of one by two. Just two two t plus two is remaining. Plus two into two. So here, what is common? Two is common. So which is equal one by two into three plus one into two dt. So two to also gets cancelled. So integration of one by t plus one dt is there. What is the integration of one by t plus one? What is the integration of one by x? Is log x. So what is the integration of one by x plus one? Also, log of x plus one. Because of course, this consists of f dash x by f of x. It is what this function that is derivation. Log of denominator. Otherwise, remember the formula. One by x is there. That is also is log x. Our integration of one by x plus one is log of x plus one. According to that, integration of one by t plus one is log of t plus one and plus c. Statements some constant. Okay, so I miss this one. Here again, t means what? T means tan x by two. So finally, our answer should be in terms of x. So t means tan x by two plus one plus. So we got it. I got it. Now substitute this I by the integration by. We can complete the answer. So now substitute I value. In equation five. So what is equation five? Integration of cos x plus three sin x plus. What was the numerator? Plus seven by cos x plus sin x plus one dx is equal minus log of cos x plus sin x plus. One plus two x plus 
pi into i. I means what? Log of i means log of tan x by 2 plus 1. And finally, plus some constant. So, this is the answer. So, first, spread the numerator, find the ABC values, substitute, uh, take the question, and uh, spread the numerator. We get uh, this equation 5. So, what is I means for integration of 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1? So, to simplify 1 by cos x plus sin x plus 1, let us assume tan x by 2 equal to 3. Then dx becomes 2 by 1 plus t square dt and uh, sin x becomes 2t by 1 plus t square. Cos x becomes 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. So, substitute this uh, dx, uh, sin x, uh, cos x values in i. So, then i becomes the complete in terms of t's. So, by solving simplifying, we get uh, log of t plus 1 plus 3. t means what? Log of tan x by 2 plus 3. This is i value. So, after getting i value, substituting equation 5, we get the answer. So, this is clear, brief explanation about third question. Okay. So, this is very most important. Next, fourth one also same like, same process as this, just terms different. So, let us see fourth one also. If you have any doubt about this problem, listen fourth one, then your doubts will be clarified. Otherwise, just pause the video, you do it. If you are good in this. Yes, fourth question. Integration of 2 sin x plus 3 cos x plus 4 by 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5 dx. So, this is the question. Same process here. We can solve. Okay. So, solution. Numerator part 2 sin x plus 3 cos x plus 2. Which is equal to, which is equal to, we can write to a into, you can tell me, d by dx of denominator, 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5, plus, next what, yes very good, tell me, b into denominator, 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5, and plus, so this is equation 1. So now, which is equal, derivation of 3 constant right as this, derivation of sin x is cos x and the 4 constant j 4 constant, derivation of cos x is minus sin x and the derivation of 5 is 0. Okay? So plus b into here same as this, 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5 plus c. Now, multiply with the j into 3. 3j cos x j into 4 minus 4j sin x plus b into 3. 3b sin x b into 4. 4b cos x b into 5. Here 5b plus c. Now, what are the cos x terms? Here 3a here 4b. So, 3a plus 4b into cos x and the sin x comes here minus 4a here 3b sin x and the remaining 5b plus c. Okay. So, now left hand side what is the 2 sin x plus 3 cos x plus now equating like terms. So, what are the cos x portion? 3a plus 4. Here cos x coefficient is 3. So we get 3a plus 4b equal to 3. Equation number 2. Similarly, sin x coefficient here minus 4a plus 3b. Here sin x coefficient is 2. So this is equation 3. And our constant term is 5b plus 4. 5b plus 4. Here constant term is 4. So we should solve these 2, 3, 4 equations. By solving 2, 3, 4, we can get a, b, c values. How can we solve? See, 2 and 3, these are not same. If you multiply with this uh, 4, we get 4, 3, 12. And this one multiply with 3, we get 3, 4, minus 4. 
same terms we are getting. So, 4 into equation 2, am I right? So, 4 into equation 2. So, 4 3 ja, 2 by a, 4 4 ja, 16 b is equal to 4 3 ja, 2 by. Next, 3 into minus 4, 3 into equation 3. 3 into minus 4 is minus 2 by a. 3 into 3 becomes minus b is equal to 3 into 2 becomes 6. So add these two equations. Plus 2 a minus 2 a gets cancelled. 16 plus 9, 25 b. 12 plus 6, 18. So b becomes 18 by 25. So we got it b by b as 18 by 25. Now substitute this b value. 18 by 25 in equation 3. Substitute in equation 3, we can get A value. And substitute in equation 4, we can get uh, C value, 5 plus. So substitute in 3, or you can write substitute in 2, same answer we get. Minus 4A plus 3B, B means 18 by 25 is equal to 2. So minus 4A is equal to plus 3, 18 is yeah, how much? 24, 3 1 the 3 to 54 is equal to 2. We just simplify this. What we are getting? Okay. So minus 4a is equal to 2 minus 54 by 25. So 25 to the 15 minus 54. How much? Minus 4 by 25. So minus 4 minus 4 cancel. A equal to just 1 by 25. That's it. Now, substitute again B value, which is 18 by 25 in equation 4. Because of we need to find C also in that. So, 5B plus C means 5 into B is 18 by 25 plus C equal to 4. Here, 5 1 by 5 is a cancel. So, C equal to 4 minus 18 by 5 is right here, 18 by 5. So, C becomes what? 5 by 20 minus 18. So, 2 by 5. This is C value. So after getting the ABC values, just simplification only, there is nothing. Now, substitute ABC in equation 1. So 1 becomes, what is equation 1? That is, so 1 becomes this 2 sin x plus 3 cos x plus 4 becomes, this is equal A into A means for 1 by 25 into B by the x of plus b into b means what 18 by 25 into okay okay i'm writing 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5 so 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5 plus c c means 2 by 5 only now take the question therefore integration of 2 sin x plus 3 cos x plus 4 by 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5 dx is equal integration of okay so write this one and simplify what do we get I'm writing direct answer just to do the simplification let me solve okay so we get a uh, from doing two three steps, the answer will be 1 by 25 into log of 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 2 pi plus uh, 18 by 25 into x plus 2 by 5 into i we get. i means what? When i means integration of 1 by 3 sin x plus 4 cos x plus 5 dx. So now what next step? Immediately denominator comes to terms of sin x because that uh, and x y to be equal to p. So by derivating this term we get uh, dx becomes 2 dv by 1 plus 2 and uh, sin x becomes what? 2 dv by 1 plus t square and cos x becomes for 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. 
what is it? So each and every one is useful and substitute these values in i. So then i becomes what? i becomes 1. So therefore i becomes is equal integration of 1 by shall we do from here? Okay. Is it clear? So here you can solve this one. You get this one. So this is equation fine. But this is not final answer. Okay. So we have to find i value. Where what is i of this this one? So in this can I try to take the immediately it has to designate this one in the previous sum grid. You see dx becomes that one, sin x becomes cos x. Directly you can write no problem, there is no objection. Or you can, uh, by differentiating it with dx, so by writing in terms of tan, write the sin x. That is also right. But simply write it down, that is also correct. Okay, next up, we should substitute that uh, sin of cos of dx values in equation, sorry, not in equation, in i. So, i becomes 1 by 3 sin x. So 3 sin x is what? 2d by 1 plus t square. Plus 4 cos x. Cos x means 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. And uh, plus 5 is there. Yeah. Into dx. dx means 2d by 1 plus t square. So which is equal 1 by c. In the denominator, 1 plus t square is the LCM again. So 1 plus t square becomes the LCM. 3 into 2d, 3 into the 16 plus 4 into 1, 4 minus 4 into t square, 2 t square. Plus 5 into 5 does not contain denominator. So 5 into 1 plus t square is 5 plus 5 t square. Into 2d by 1 plus t square. This 1 plus t square, 1 plus t square gets cancelled. So this is equal integration of 1 by so t squared 5t squared minus 4t squared is only t squared and uh, plus 16 4 plus 5t is minus into 2t where 2 is constant now we can write outside so 2 into integration of 1 by what about this it is t plus 3 whole square just see what is t plus 3 whole square t square plus 2 t 3 plus g square a square plus 2 a b plus b square so t square plus 60 plus 9 so from a head uh, t square plus 60 plus 9 means t plus 3 whole square so instead of this we can write uh, t plus 3 whole square and uh, d now what, what is the integration of 1 by t plus 3 whole square ok simply integration of x for n form x for n plus 1 by n plus 1 so like that it becomes t plus 3 whole power minus 2 so formula becomes t plus 3 whole power n plus 1 minus, minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus So, this is called 2 into t plus 3 power minus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So, i equal minus into plus 2 minus 2 into t plus 3 whole power minus 1 means 1 by t plus 3. So, i is minus 2 by t plus 3. t means what? tan is by t plus plus this is i value. So here simply you can write the integration of 1 by x squared is minus 1 by x minus 1 by x. So that's it. Otherwise you have convert to use x for and dx from the Okay. Now regarding i value. Substitute this i value in equation 5 we get the answer. Integration of 
right side definitely try it almost all at least you get the free of no problems definitely i will tell you if anything is uh, difficult i will tell you but integration means like this only it consists of formulas that is uh, more problem so if you are good in formulas and you know the concept then only we can try to solve the problems but need more hard work that is compulsory integration means like this only okay so let us meet in next class thank you very much please subscribe and hit bell button now so please click like button